Come with me and you'll be in a world with pure imagination. Oh, Princess Oka here. Oof. Ugh, it took two hours to upload my first video. Two hours. I'm impatient. Yeah, well, we're just, no, I just choose to actually look at it. Stare, stare. Yeah, and upload it the second time, all of it. Sometimes it passes. It did actually did. It did actually advance 60 more. But then again, never mind for talking about it. Yeah, what is up? I heard the word systemic. Interesting. Systemic is one of those ideas, you know, you actually pin down in words how people interrelate. But this is the key word, interrelate. When two groups or two people or two types come together, then there is, you know, you make a circle of each of them. And then those circles overlap in a certain part. There is where stuff happens. Now you want me to draw it? Okay, wait. Okay, here it is, real quick. Now you see the orange circle and the purple circle. I don't know, just grab these colors. Doesn't matter which one, but maybe it's a good thing. Because naturally I would grab, like, say, blue and yellow, and then I would find in the middle, you know, green. Or, <laughs> and that's the point. What happens in that space where two come together? Now, honestly, if you look at, like, the ancient marriages, it's mostly like one overpowered the other. Instead of creating some color together, a new color where each one has an expression, people would actually overpower. And I literally had to draw over it a few times to find something which would be maybe enticing to me. So which color is going to overpower who? Is the man going to overpower the woman? Or what is going on there? What is the space where they are at? I think even if they are both inhabited that space in a way, they were not really mixing the colors, just like those don't really mix here. Was it at one, like in the 50s, the idea was, you know, the man has the job, this and that, and the woman just has to be in the house and wasn't allowed to have a job, uh, other than, of course, the household, which is a job, and being a mother, which is even another job. And But no other expression was allowed, no thinking was allowed, no... Nothing was allowed. Just shut the fuck up and serve me my dinner and my beer and my magazines and that's it, my newspaper. So that means actually that in that equation, the woman would actually lose a part of herself. And this is only so much. Now, if they come together more, how would that look? Imagine you push these two circles together and she's not allowed to do anything anymore. Then she's kind of lost, right? Lost as a person servicing someone else who probably maybe in the pressure under which she is doing it would not really enjoy it let me rephrase that a little bit see there's nothing wrong with giving up on yourself to be in a relationship of course unless you don't really want it you don't really want it it's a huge difference. Because if you don't want it, then you're doing it against your will. And when the society dictates to you that the man works and the woman doesn't, for example, or anything at all, and that the man has opinions but the woman has not to have one, and this and that, basically asphyxiating actually either of the parts, I have to say. I will go on that. I will come back on that. I will develop. And then... You are forced to become a nobody, a government does. But on the other hand, what is the man going to be giving out? Because I tell you this, when two people look at each other, stuff can happen. And if the man is the only one who's allowed to look, and the woman has to be silent without wanting to receive him, because now she's already feeling asphyxiated, can't express herself, is not allowed to, then who is he going to talk to? And what is he going to explore? What is he going to find out? Because often you can talk stuff. And as you talk, you figure things out about yourself or about life. You have a dialogue and you can have that maybe with your book. You can have that with your diary if you have one. But men, which men would have that kind of diary, right? 
or go talk to your girlfriend or your wife. But in that equation, well, a man wasn't allowed to talk and a woman wasn't allowed to anything. So if a man wasn't allowed to talk in that very society for like almost 500 years, I hear 600, whatever, wasn't allowed to think either. So the only thing the man could actually talk about is what other people told him. And who was that? Well, in the 50s was the newspaper. How about that for society? So what emancipation did is to take these two circles and the woman says, I'm just not going not to mingle with them. And that means that the circles are maybe not really overlapping, but parallel to each other or barely overlapping. So now she would have this and he would have that and they would not really have anything in common any longer. Hence the large amounts of infidelity happened because no one was feeling fulfilled, because no one was really engaging in their relationship. And nagging something, needing not approval because of course the husband and the wife wouldn't give it because they didn't have that intimacy of talking to each other and spending time with each other and questioning each other and putting out doubts and finding solutions, be together, right? In that equation, then thirsty and hungry for approval, they would go extramarital nonsense. And of course that wouldn't be satisfying, so again and again the whole thing. And this is what I'm talking to you about, what we're like, don't give out. We're not really fighting it, but maybe we are. So you don't become these blunt, stupid people who are like nobodies and become somebody who can actually open love and then create maybe two circles which are very, very close to each other and maybe overlapping more and then maybe creating new colors and amazing aspects. And not only that, I mean, of course, I could now spend my time in drawing things. But if I am with someone, I don't know, does this person changes me? Is my color changing or is my color getting more intense? Or did I maybe had not a color before or maybe a few colors, but now I have more, more colors of what happens? I don't know. I really don't. But the one thing I do know is that we have to do what we want to do 100%. And then we do that with our partner and allow him and her to do the same. I mean, of course, it can only happen when there is a match. It can only happen if I, as a person, I am not threatened by my other half having something going on for him or herself. And why would any man feel threatened, for example? Yeah, because maybe he didn't work hard on him. He didn't work enough to actually figure that he is somebody. So if she becomes now somebody, well, now he feels like an idiot. So what can be done? Well, she had to be punished, right? She had to be hit in every single way. Yeah, sometimes physically and often with your negative remarks like you're just a nobody and you can't sing. Oops, how old was I, 14? And you are not allowed to and you shouldn't. And yeah, I invited you to be an opera singer in America, but you now go ahead and get a job. And don't sing and don't smile and don't talk so often and you know on and on and then there's women who do the same with the men somehow they make them feel like the men are not really worthy they're not really good they have not the right to breathe to, to do to look to do whatever and that's a little nagging like your belly is too big or didn't I wash the socks yesterday? What happened? The narcissistic remarks, which are like almost unnoticeable. It's, it's, the aggression is invisible. It's like this passive aggressive thing. Oh, how nice you look today. But tell you, you're like an asshole. You don't know why over time, every moment, you feel more diminished. You feel like a loser. And it pains you. See so all these little things, because the person is lazy shit and doesn't want to work and not wants to have you pay as a partner, and they both die. And that is what I'm saying. So who are you and what are you engaging with? The issue is too, I mean, I spent my life lonely and prefer to than I don't mingle as idiot. I don't want to be with in company just because 
there is company because it doesn't make company to me hanging around with people who are not engaging with me. That's more like lonely and they're sucking my blood, I have to say. So what you really do engage is with the person as you respect that person as a person. And from my perspective, if there was somebody who had actually something to offer, I admire it. Actually, I don't really remember having ever met one of those. Because <laughs> I'm not into pop stars. Because I don't know what person that might be. I mean, yeah, good, maybe he sings or plays an instrument, but it doesn't mean anything to me. By itself, what person is behind that what means, and I never really spent any time to look at it. Until I did. <laughs> until I was to look at it. Yeah. So who are you? Is the person who affirms him or herself and what he can do. Or maybe it is the other person who sees you as who you are because he's got he's got your microchip in him, right? He sees what you can do, even though you haven't really noticed that, and supports you in that. Because he is grand enough not to feel threatened by it. Yeah, uh, Go ahead, let it sink in for a while. No, I mean it. Can you tell me, please, which way should I go? That depends on where you want to go. I don't, I don't even, even know, know where I am. I don't even know where I am. I don't even know where I am. I don't even know where I am. Cold cream syrup tastes cocoa. 